So how was it stepping into that costume again and into the world of Kick-Ass? It was so fun. I mean, being able to be Hit Girl again was really uh, a, a surreal experience, you know, because you leave a character behind, you know, especially at 11 years old, and then four years later, you're putting on the costume again, you're working with the same actors again, you're you're wearing the same wig, you, you have the same hair and makeup team. It's It's crazy and totally surreal to be able to do it again, but it was so much fun. And reuniting with Aaron and Chris, like the gang. Yeah, the gang is there. They're like my brothers. You know, I, I love Aaron and I love Chris, and they've all they've changed so much. You know, they've both become like such men. You know, I worked with them. I feel like when they were babies, and I was a baby, and now we've grown up so much. It's it's like a, it's like a group, a little group of adults now. It's funny. It's so random. And Mindy's grown up. What can audiences ex expect from Mindy? She was like this foul mouth little girl. Yeah. Well, you know, that was that was the thing about, about trying to figure out where is Mindy now? Where is Mindy four years after the fact that she lost her father, four years after the fact that she got adopted by a cop? What is she doing with her life? Where Where is she pointed? You know, what direction is she pointed in? Where is her conscious? You know, and, and basically what we try to do is show who she is behind the mask and what she really is going through at school and how no matter if it's if it's a, a bad drug dealer on the streets or if it's a, a a mean girl at school she has to bring justice to the situation because she's a superhero in her heart you know it's it's a part of her it's not just a, a mask and a wig and the you know the trend of normal people becoming superheroes has caught on talk about the the new cast members yeah you yeah, well we have you know we have uh, the the basically Justice Forever, which is like Justice League of a sort of kind of different speed, um, where we have Dr. Gravity and, you know, all the battle guy and like a hundred different people. It's so fun. Night Bitch. Like, there's like the funniest characters. And then we look over at uh, Chris's little group, which name remains unsaid. And you have The Tumor, you have Black Death, you have Mother Russia, you have like all these really rad supervillain so it's kind of crazy this contrast that we kind of created between the two superhero groups and you can you can see it in the poster too you know we have like the good guys and then you have you know the the the, the evil at the bottom you know that that kind of dark deep rooted sitting kind of duck it's nice it's it's the perfect contrast in the movie how has this movie stepped it up from the first one you know, it really is just, you know, it's it's like you took the original movie and you just add, you layer on all the stuff you wanted to see more of in the original. You know, it's got more fight scenes, it's got more emotion, it's got more love, it's got more hate. It has, like, true feelings, and it really does take you on a roller coaster. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.